Hello guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go over um, how you delete an Azure tenant. Um, so I do a lot of demos and sometimes I need to spin up new tenants and um, what things that people normally do is when they spin up a new tenant, they're done with it, they just leave it alone. Uh, but good hygiene is you delete the tenant just in case you maybe use the name or somebody else wants the name. Now, as you can see here, I am logged into uh, one of uh, my tenants I use for demo. I'm actually done with this tenant, so I want to go ahead and actually delete it. I will go down into Active Directory or Azure Active Directory. And inside of Azure Active Directory, uh, confirm that I am the global admin here uh, for this tenant. And I have the delete up op uh, tenant option here. So I'll go ahead and click on that. Now, one of the things that actually frustrates people when deleting the tenant is most times they come in here and they have all um, the all the status have this mark here, meaning that it's not ready to be deleted. Um, yes, it's a little bit frustrating, especially when it comes down to uh, application and enterprise application. You need to actually um, run a, there's a script out there that you can actually run that will do all the deletion for you. So it takes about you know. Um, five ten minutes depending on how many apps you have already registered uh, but uh, the thing I'm going to point out here is that you want to make sure all the status are green um, oh, another one that also bothers people is the license based subscription uh, so this is if you have an office 5 subscription for something and um, when you do disable the subscription one thing to have to keep in mind it takes at least 14 days for it to actually get removed uh, completely so when you come here you see uh, a caution mark you go in there, you disable or delete the subscription. You have to wait 14 days uh, before you can actually delete the um, the tenant. In my case here, I deleted the subscriptions and it's 14 days, so I'm going to go ahead and delete the tenant. Um, another thing, it will pop you up. This always comes up uh, because you need to, uh, if you click on the link, uh, we'll go in here and you have to say yes. Basically, it wants to make sure that there's no subscription on the tenant. So you basically get... Uh, uh, <coughs> access to all the subscription and then it will confirm there's no subscription then it will proceed with the delete deletion of the tenant um, so when, once you do that you save um, you go back this also does take a few minutes uh, but you can just refresh and as you can see I have a green check mark and then I could go ahead and proceed with the deletion of the tenant And once that's it, that's about that's all you have to do, and then your tenant is completely deleted. If you sign, you just have to sign out of this, and the tenant is gone. All right. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, you have a good day.